Hello, in this video we'll be covering the following. We're going to test and confirm that DNS is working on a Windows 2008 server and we'll also be going over how to use the tool NSLOOKUP. Hello, in a previous video we went over how to install DNS server on a Windows 2008 machine and in this video I wanted to show you a couple ways that you can test and confirm and validate whether or not that DNS server is actually working. So first off let's go ahead and we'll open up DNS manager from here you can see our forward lookup zone or reverse lookup zone um, typical things that you would see on a DNS server and you can see a number of host records in here as well in a actual production DNS server you'd have many more host records than what we have listed here but this is it's a sample and test uh, lab, so this is uh, pretty typical of what we would see. So from here, if we want to test and confirm that the DNS server is actually working, we can right-click on the DNS server. We can go to Properties. And from here, you can click on the Monitoring tab. And there are a couple of different tests that we can do from here. The first test is a simple query against the DNS server. And what this does is we give the uh, DNS server a domain name and it will return the IP address for that domain name. And the other test is a recursive query and that essentially does the reverse of what a simple query is. We give it an IP address and it gives us the DNS name or the domain name for that IP address and to simply do these tests we just have to make sure that both of these are checked and then click test now and if everything is working correctly we should get a pass on both of these and that's what we got so hopefully everything is working correctly okay another more robust way of testing out DNS that gives you more options is using a tool called NSLOOKUP and there are a couple different ways that you can get to NSLOOKUP one way is just right clicking on Win2K8 or right clicking on whatever domain name server that you have and you get this drop down and from this drop down you should see launch NS lookup so go ahead and click on that and that brings us to this prompt here and what we can do from here if we look at the different host records we have here we can query the DNS server for a specific host record. So if we want to know what the IP address is for computer1, we can type in computer1 plus the domain suffix that we have which is myhome.local and hit enter. And again if everything is working correctly we should have the IP address of that domain name record. And we do. So we have this right in here. Now there's another way you can also get the NS lookup and you can do this from the command prompt of a workstation as well. You don't necessarily have to do this off of a server machine. So let's do go ahead and do that. We'll click on start and you can go to command prompt from here. And then once you're at a command prompt, you can simply type in NS lookup and hit enter. And once you have this prompt you can type in anything that you want just like we did from here and query a DNS server so we and you can use it to also query servers that are outside of your domain also so if you want to query something that's outside we can type in a website hit enter and you get the IP address that's associated with that website There are other options that you can use with NS Lookup also, and you can see what those are by simply typing in the question mark for help and hitting enter. And you can see that there are a number of other things that you can select. One of the things that's a very handy thing to do is if you want to look for a specific type of record. Now, if we look back at our DNS manager again, you can see that there are a couple different types of records in here, one of them being a mail exchanger. So what we could do is we can just set the type of record 
to MX like that and then we can also change the server that we query when we do a, D, do a DNS lookup so here we're going to change it to server 8.8.8 .8 .8, which is a Google DNS server and as you can see here we've changed now our default server to this server here that Google owns as a public DNS and now that we have the the record type that we're going to look for is MX if we simply type in google.com the domain name that Google uses and hit enter we can see all the MX records that Google has listed so we see here we have we have five different MX records that Google has and they're listed in an order of preference I guess they're not sorted by that order but we can see there's 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 and how this preference works is whichever one has the lower preference is the preferred MX record to use so we can see right here MX preference equals 10 is the lowest one that's in there and we can see that this is the server, the mail server that Google prefers you to use. These other ones can be used as backup servers in case this one can't be found or can't be reached for whatever reason. You can go back and fall back on this server instead. Okay, that's pretty much it. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with NS Lookup and also, you know, explore some of these different options that are listed here. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And thanks for watching.